I am Lou with another episode of My Car Story. Today we're at the greatest muscle car show on the planet, the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals. We're in Rosemont, Illinois, the week right before Thanksgiving. Check out the description. You can find out some details so you can get here too. And I'm with Jeff. Jeff, your last name? Makovich. We've done a few cars together, specifically Camaros. What year make and model is this one? This is a 69 Chevrolet Camaro Copo, but it's a double Copo. It's a 9737 package car. So let's talk about that as we show some of the details here. Sure. A double Copo. So first of all, this car looked like this. In 1975. In 1975. Okay, not too good. There's its authenticity. Here's the registration. Tell me about the double Copo here. Well, Proud Chevrolet, which is what that document right there is and what this is, this is the original advertisement that was in the Illyria Chronicle. And this shows the double Copos that all the Proud cars were. And what that gives you is a special sports car conversion, which gives you a 1316 sway bar, the 15 by seven inch rally wheels, and a 140 speedometer. That's what made that package so rare. Let's take a look please, at that. So talk about plain Jane. This one, well, <laughs> you've got the Copo here that you can't miss. And I just want to show you the front of that. What's the color on this car? This car is Olympic gold. Olympic gold. You've got your Camaro there. Let's take a look back. You know, when you, first of all, give me a little history of this car. First of all, how long have you had? I bought the car in 2019. Now, you knew about this car beforehand. How I did knew, you know about it? I knew about this car when I was a kid, and I had a good friend, Tom Quinn, who knew about this car, and he tried to buy it many times, and somewhere in the 90s, it disappeared. And when it disappeared, no one knew where it went, and then we knew that the car, I got a call from a buddy when I was at Amelia Island, Florida, and he said, I bought seven cars out of a collection in California, didn't know it was this car, and guess what, it was this car. So it went from Northridgeville, Ohio, to Arizona, to California, to Erie, Pennsylvania, and back to me. When you saw it, and you actually purchased it, what was your reaction? I was speechless, I couldn't believe it was the same car I heard stories about when I was a kid. <laughs> Let's take a look at the car that makes you speechless. So we have the scripting. Let me get an overall shot of the back here. That's what we want to feature right there is the Proud your bow tie. Step back with me one second. I just want to feature that back end like so. Let's open her up. So as soon as you saw Prout, you knew what you had. Yes. So that was really the key, is that little badge right back there. Correct. And we had the document that you saw before of where it came from. <laughs> now, obviously the car was restored. Do you know when it was restored or? Well, the car was in all of its rick or all new gm sheet metal and black primer when i bought it and that was done in the 90s i got a hold of one of the previous owners and he actually put all the new gm sheet metal on it when he worked at a Cadillac dealership in Elyria, ohio okay may i open it sure let's have you pull out the flashlight if you will mm -hmm. just so because it's a little dark inside and we'll do that I'll tell you what i'll take that for just a moment that's what i want to do let's feature that it's got the right amount of pedals, as you can see. The four speed, the Hurst. Let's show those buckets. Now, do you drive it at all, or is it just a show pony? No, I'm gonna drive it. I, I brought it out here to show it as perfect as it can be. Yeah. And after that, uh, I'm gonna drive it and enjoy it. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Radio I, I, delete car. Okay, let's the correct check green steering wheel. There's our radio delete. A 140 Speedo. Let's go to that Speedo. There we are. Mileage is correct. There, may I just to pull this? Yep. Just to do that, like so. Very good. Okay. We've got 
Wow. Plain Jane. Astro ventilation. Well, let's take a look under the hood, shall we? I'll keep this. Okay. All right, thanks. Like that hood scoop. Is that the other thing you noticed on it, is the hood scoop? Well, the Copo cars came with cow, uh, cow induction hoods. That's how you could tell them. The code on this car on the trim tag is X44, which is a base Camaro. Where's that trim tag? Right there, sir. All right. X44 is the base uh, code for just a regular Camaro, and that's what the Copos were based off of without the style trim group. This car was an 03 E built, which means it was the third third month, which is uh, March, um, and it shows the color of the car being Olympic gold with black standard interior. So the bottom line is, this is a brand new car. Yes. Right Everything now. is dated exactly perfect. How did you know, like the MN on the head and things like that? We did the research on it, okay. and from other known cars of this time built. We did everything we could to duplicate it correctly. Smog pump. Correct. Battery. Paint, trim, and body in the correct positions. On the bottom of the front fenders on the inside is the 427, which you can't see. That's all right. But correct, I, four I, row I radio. can see that. <laughs> Go ahead, you're saying something about correct. the radio. This is specific to Copa with the curved neck. This is a four row core. Uh, radiator, which is specific for Copo only, 837 alternator, the correct valve covers, correct air cleaner, flat bottom, which is specific to this, not the uh, perforated one. Okay. Correct exhaust manifolds. Everything is correctly dated for the car. Well, you are once again just providing another amazing Camaro. Let's uh, fire it, shall we? Sure. Step on the brakes for a second. I think you've got it in reverse. Thank you. So you just listen to that for a second. <laughs> oh, that would sound great at a stoplight. Give it a rev, Jeff. One more good one. starting up something now in the background. Jeff, what a treat. Thank you very much. Thanks so much for sharing this car and thanks for being again on My Car Story. Always good to see you. Always good to see you. Thank you. Thank you.